Hola. Hey, hey. Yeah, it looks really dark. That's because you were black all the time. Well, I mean, I, I said we should have put the light out, but he said it was okay. It looks fine. We're not going to be looking at my face. Yeah, I mean, it's... But you guys know what we look like. Right? I know. The lights are on. They are on. The door is open. Actually, I can probably like open up the blinds and maybe they'll be a little bit better. Let the light in. Well, you know, in South Carolina, we okay, we're good. Yeah, have light looks better. All the time. That looks way better. Thank you. There you go. The so, darkness of South Carolina. How are you guys doing? I mean, besides my mini heart attack a day, I'm good. Yeah. Um. So today we're doing a really cool preview of a new roll and write that's going to be going live on Kickstarter, I believe, on July 11th. Um, we are not physically playing the roll and write print and play version. We are just trying their prototype digital version, which is very different for us because we normally do everything on the yeah. table. So, so in the Kickstarter from the photos that we've seen, there's actual physical game. Um, where you get, get really cool dice. Yeah, you get really cool dice. I believe it's a um, erasable board, the dry yeah. erase board. Um, <clears throat> you get a comic book to tell you the story. It is a campaign roll and write. Which is why I wanted to try this one. Cause yeah. I, I mean, I guess we kind of, no, not roll and write style. I'll say we've, we've done campaign style roll and writes, but we haven't. I mean, we have. Um, We've done a couple. Name one. Um, that one with the adventuring, um, drawn, or whatever. It's up there somewhere. Drawn to adventure? No, it's up there. Drawn to adventure is is one that has a campaign style. Welcome to the moon is in a roll and write. It's a flip and write. It's the same thing. No, it's not. You don't same roll thing. anything. Uh, and then Beluga Bliss has their uh, roll and write. Oh, yeah, that's that true. we've done. Okay, well, comic uh, book style. Yes, that's very unique. So, um, this game is designed by Madeline and Joseph Adams. Um, so the the publishing company. I'm hoping I'm not going to butcher this, but it's uh, Kagito or Kagito. I'm gonna say Kagito. Kagito. Yeah. Kagito. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so it's because their their icons a cog. So that's yeah, it's a cog with a meat cog. on it. <laughs> so they're based out in in the UK. Yeah. Um, and they've got a bunch of games already under their belt, but they're a pretty. Uh, they're a small publisher. Um, if you go, uh, Mubot should throw up some. Oh, it already did. So Mubot threw up the um website where you can go to to check out some of the stuff that they have there's one on there that interests me a lot um i can't remember the name of it but there is a giant wave on the cover of the game yeah um, that's what you're talking about it looks really good it's it like japanese art it looks really good i really like this one i mean obviously we only have the preview of the first chapter but yeah. i like it so far yeah so I played it a few times and I found it super enjoyable because, um, well, you feel like you're hacking a system yeah. while you're playing it. And it's it's difficult, but it's winnable. So I had to play a couple of times before I was like, I played four, I did it. <laughs> I played four times and I, I didn't beat it. Yeah. So, um, so the cool part of this uh, stream is that we're going to see a video that introduces the story. Now it's a pretty decently long video, so it's about ten minutes. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to play the digital version of this, and then we're going to show the ending. If well, the ending of the first chapter, if we finish it. Yeah. If Which not, we should. you're just going to have to wait. We should. I mean, I I played it enough to go. Oh, okay. I I'm getting the flow here. But I'll go through it and um, explain what things do and how to play it. Um, and once you see it, you'll go, oh, I've played similar stuff like this. So it should come naturally after a while. Yeah, once I got down the icons and things, it wasn't as bad. Um, so right now, read rule books. right now we're going to watch the video. So, so Story time. Story time.
We didn't think you were coming. I'm sorry. There were police patrols outside Shinsu's. I had to be careful. So, have you heard from Red? If there were patrols, we can't hack him from Shinza's place. No, not there. We'll be operating from the Steelworks Hall. I'll get the rig set up. Are you sure you can pull this off? I mean, we're all taking a big risk here. Red says he's good enough, and that's good enough for me. You are up to this, aren't you? Yeah. I've just never done anything like this before. Me neither. Look, if you don't feel up for it, you can still walk away. Would you? No, I wouldn't. I mean, I'm terrified, but I've got my own reasons to be here. I have to see this through. I suppose you have to ask yourself the same question. What brought you here? Is it worth taking the consequences of being caught? What brought me here? Now there's a story. Congratulations. You have been made redundant from your position. Congratulations. You have been made redundant from your position. You have been made redundant from your position. Slag. Telling my ma was always the hardest part. But the truth is, these huge machines can outperform us in any task. They don't sleep, don't eat, don't unionize or require payment. They just work relentlessly. The Neds would replace us all eventually. My initial thought was to ignore it. The peacekeeping force had been known to send out false recruitment messages. Those that replied would be arrested and sent to their headquarters on the asteroid Ceres. And I did not want to end up in one of the dark cells on Ceres. People sent there never came back. But there was just something about that message. I recognize some of the faces. Fellow engineers laid off from Niven. Comrades, my name is Red Lud, and I have called you here today because a great injustice has been done to each one of us. Like you, I was once an engineer, 
I worked for the Hensler Corporation for 20 years. In that time, I was fastidious in my work ethic. I never missed a deadline. I used my leave time to learn new skills, and despite many lucrative offers to betray industrial secrets to competitors, I remained loyal to my employers. All I asked in return was for that loyalty to be returned to me, so that when the new, shiny, perfect Neds appeared, I would be taken care of, just as I had taken care of them. But we all know what really happened, for it has happened to each of us here in our own way. We have been cast aside, surplus to requirements, useless, outdated biological entities in the age of the digital. But our previous masters have made a grave error. They haven't counted on something important. The countless years of training, of education and experience that we have in this room, the knowledge that they have cast aside as useless, is in fact very useful indeed. The corporations that rejected us have inadvertently created a terrible weapon to be used against them. We are the ones who built their empires whilst they sat around smoking narco pipes in fancy restaurants. We know their systems better than they do. We know their vulnerabilities and, most importantly, we know how to make them hurt. Comrades, I cannot promise you your livelihoods back, but I can promise you this. We will make them pay. <laughs> Red asked us all to cut out our old employment chips from our arms, and we melted them all together to form a giant cog, the symbol of our revolution. Your training starts tomorrow, and from this point forward, everything we do is off-grid. No using your comms. Messages are to be spoken or handwritten and then burnt. Over the next few weeks, our training began. We are not here to create. We are here to destroy. And destruction is by far the easier of the two. We are on the winning side. Our targets were the Neds themselves. We will work in threes, and corpse that cast you aside will come to dread these diabolical triumvirates, and so dread shall become your name. Each dread will only know the details of those in their own tree. When one of us is caught, therefore, they cannot betray any more than the members of their own dread. Tao and these two will constitute your dread. Drex, you already know, of course, but I believe this young engineer will be of great service to you also. Hey. So you're gonna be our hacker. I hope you're good. These Neds aren't gonna just let us hurt them. Ignore Drex. If Red says you're good, then that's good enough for me. Yeah, don't mind me. Happy to have another engineer on board. Which corp do you train with? Niven. You? I'm from the heart of darkness, mate. I had the joy of being fired from near-Earth dynamic systems themselves. So, what do you think? You want to walk away now? No. I need to do this. Okay, the system is rigged. Once you're logged in on the comms link, the countdown will begin. So get in, smash the slagging Ned, and then get out. Do not get caught by the countermeasures. Look, I know this is a lot, but Red says you're one of the best coders he's ever seen, and Drex and I have got you covered out here. We can do this. 
I've worked with the Ned since the start. They aren't easy to navigate, but they do have some weaknesses. I've put together some things to watch out for inside their systems. Just don't slag this up, okay? Ignore Drex. We're all in this together. Just take your time and when you're ready, log into the system. You can do this. All right, I think we've switched over. <laughs> Yay, we switched over. Sorry, I was like typing everything in chat when people were talking. Bye me, thanks for the 31 month subscription. Ooh, all right, so I can't see chat or anything, so I have this up full screen. So if you guys are yelling at me, I'll have to hear it through. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so here is the, um, here is what we're hacking into, okay? What you're looking at is the circuit or the gates that we have to uh, make our way through. With our little uh, buggy. Who, yes, so our needle, not needle, but needle. Yeah. Which is pretty cool, I like that. Our needle is on the top left. That is what we are going to be using to move around the board, um, gaining uh, resources, um, hacking, causing damage to the system. Now on the left with the triangle with the exclamation mark, that is the amount of HP we have to chip away at the system. We have to do 51 points, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, and we have to make it to the exit all the way down to the bottom right. Yeah. Now, um, we're starting off with three dice here at the bottom. You guys can see my mouse cursor, right? Yes. Okay. So these three hacking dice at the bottom are what we're going to be using to um, open up these gates, uh, move our needle needle around. Okay. I keep saying needle. I'm going to call it uh, just our... Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> I'll call it the our buggo. Um, so let's go over the different things that we're looking at here. Again, remember this is... Um, not fully finished, so if we yes. have some bugs, we know that there are going to be actual bugs in this. Um, there is one bug, and he's right no, there. No, no, not that bug. <laughs> this isn't the final product. This will yeah. definitely change, and there is an actual roll and write. Yes, there is. It's a this physical roll and write. try the digital version yeah. for once. And it looks really cool. It has music, it has sound effects, but we've turned those off. Tommy says, yes, it's right there. I see it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so first things first, let's go over what's on the screen. Like I said, we've got our hacking dice on the bottom right. We're, we're gonna be using those to do many different things. On the left here is the system's health that we have to do damage to. Below that is our resources. Now the first resource looks like a, um, a chip. Yeah. They are credits. They allow us to reuse or double use a die on the board. Um, so if we have one of these chips, um, we can use the three one extra time. Or we can use the one one extra time. Um, if you've got two, I believe you can create a brand new hacking dice mm -hmm. um, in whatever number you want. But they're really hard to come by. Yeah. Really hard to come by. Um, underneath here is the multi-tool which is the wrench in with the cog. Now that basically is going to let you raise or lower a die's number by however many you want. Like if you use one multi-tool, you'll be able to raise or lower by one. If you use a second multi-tool, you'll be able to lower it or raise it again. Underneath that, the little lightning bolt is the energy. This is going to help us move um, our little buggo on the top here and also do other things we'll be able to depending on uh what how many we use we can um, check off extra boxes on some of the other areas um but we'll get to all that when we do it there are tools these are um special uh programs that we can hack and we can use to cause damage to the system now these icons are on the main board right here. You see them in the red 
Yeah, the bright red. The bright red hexes. Um, and the number of, of damage that it will do if we can gain these uh, tools and get our buggo to that space. Yeah. Okay. Um, moving. Like we'll I said, one lightning bolt, one energy bolt will get you up to three movement. Right now, I can't move anywhere because all the gates are closed. They are red. You can also use die to move. Yes, you can use these die, these hacking die, to move um, up to the number that you've used. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so close that out. <clears throat> the clock. This is our main enemy. This is the timer for the game. Um, one of your hacking dice must always be used for the clock. Preferably your lower one. Preferably the lowest one. However, sometimes you can't use. The sometimes lowest. you can't use your lowest dice because you need it for something else. Um, <clears throat> however, um, let's say you put a one up there, you will get a uh, one time taking off of your of the clock. Yep. Okay. If you put a three there, you're gonna get three time taken off. Now, once the X's reach the bottom right corner here, the, the game end. is over. And you lose. Um, well, that depends. What? Uh, <clears throat> it depends. It depends. If you have a time, you don't win. It depends. If you can do enough damage and oh, get your true. your buggo to the exit and, um, egg, and finish the game with the clock all completed, then you win. I forgot that. Um, <clears throat> putting a dice of four, five, or six will do extra damage, but you will lose more time. Yep. So it's a little bit of a balance here. Um, putting a four will do four damage, a five will do five, and a six will do six damage. So now, in the physical <clears throat> game, um, when it does come out on Kickstarter, you do get the dice in the game, and they look really uh, digitized. Is that the right word? Digitized? They're, they yeah. look really good. They're really cool looking. Um, so I'm trying not to jingle. Yeah. So there are resources on the clock as well. If you can manage to land an X at the um, exact spot um, of the icon, you will gain that resource. So yeah. if I put a one in here, which I'll probably do, I'll get an get energy. energy. Right. If you go past it, then you, you don't, don't get it. it. So that is the clock. That is our enemy. Switches. These are what we're going to use. I was going to say, you can click and drag that over if you didn't know. Yes, you can. Okay. Um, I'd rather just keep it up, though, until I need to. Well, I'm just saying, yeah. if you want to show people where the certain switches are. Yeah. So the switches here will allow us to open and close or... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Open. Turn on and off. Turn on and off these gates. Now, some of these gates require it to be on. Some of these gates require it to be off. Um, that is the big puzzle to this game. Yeah. Um, the requirements for some of these gates are are different. Yep. Okay, and that is what I'm going to show you now. Let me move this over. So, let's go to the uh, top of the... Uh, row here there is an or an on and and an off yeah okay so for the first box to the right of our bug we need a two or a three a two which is right here or a three must be on so that's a two or a three that says or yeah two or a three or both but that means on yes okay yes it has to be um, on but that that is the first column of the, um, oh, the switch okay. so let's say I'm gonna show this I select uh, number one the hacking dice one yep it's going to pop up so I can open that one or that one these dice here which are which are locked by a die yes so we have to use a one to open those gates yep. it doesn't matter if the requirements for these switches are are good we need to unlock it's locked by a die however One let's second. say I wanted to turn the um, 
switch on for number one. Yeah. I will click the number one here and it'll turn the switch on. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now, what happens if you need a one off? Well, you have to spend another one dice to, to turn, turn it off. off. Now, you can do this up to three times, but on the third time, you'll short circuit the switch. It'll stay on permanently and you'll do two damage to the system. However, that's going to limit you on where you can Your go. Path, yeah. Because if you still need a one that's off, you won't be able to open that gate. Yep. Okay? So you have to use these um, carefully. But right? you definitely have to use them because yes. you have to be able to move. Yep, you do. All right. So it's a very thinky game. Yeah. So those are switches. Let's go to the roll bonus. So if you need extra... Uh, resources or want to just do extra damage to the system that's what these are for uh, I can't unclick the one but anyway once you use these you get the resource and then you cannot use it again um, so three ones and a so, six yeah. equal one of so those symbols yeah so you can use a one to get the credit you can use another one to get the credit and you can use a third one to get a credit or a six Okay, you've got four chances to get those. Yep. Three ones and a six. And remember, some of the um, places that we need to go on the map need certain symbols. So. Um, that's in the next one. I know. Um, so, yeah, so these will get you. But these can help you. Yeah, so these will get you um, some resources that you might need. Extra energy. So a two, damage. three, two, three, five, and six will get you two cogs each time you use a die for that. The third row will give you two energy whenever you use the dice for that. Mm -hmm. And the third row at the bottom, um, the fourth row at the bottom, is just two damage. So it's good for if you have a die that you don't really need to use it. For yeah, anything. like if you need, uh, or if you don't need a six and you definitely don't want it for the clock, yeah. put it in there and you get two damage automatically. Yeah. So those are roll bonuses, just a way to get extra, um, goodies. extra goods or extra resources and to use your die that you're not going to use anywhere else. The hack. So this is the meat and potatoes of this game. This is the... This is where I focus most on. Yes. And I'm like, oh no, I still need to do things in other places. All right, the hack. It looks crazy, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So for those of you who are wondering, like, what, what's all this crap? Well... I'll show you. Well, since you have the one highlighted, all of yes. the ones are It does. It highlights all of the ones. So you're going to be using your dice to cross off these boxes here. Now, if you complete a column or a row, you'll get the um, reward for it. So for this is the tool uh, with the square. I don't, I don't know if they have names or anything. but Yeah, I'm not quite sure if that's... Yeah. Thing, yeah. So these icons are on the main board. They will do damage if you can um, unlock them and then move your bug over that um, gate. So here in the middle is another uh, program you can unlock. Here's another program you can unlock or tool. Now these long rows here will do eight straight damage to the system. Yeah, those are really good. Yeah. Here is a column which will give you a credit, mm -hmm. um, and that's it. So yeah, so you we're complete gonna... a row or a column and yeah. you get whatever it gives you. Yeah, so that's basically it. So I mean, you're so thinking a lot of iconography, but once you yeah. play it a few times, oh, it's yeah. pretty simple. It's it's super simple, and you'll see as we're playing it what I mean. Um, and it's super thinky. So if you see something that I don't, let me know. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. It's really good on the stream, too. All right, so we have a 3, a 1, and a 4. Uh, I Actually, definitely... I want to use the clock, uh, the 1 and the clock. Okay, so we can do that right now. Yeah, we can go ahead okay. and say, hey, that's good. That's where so it's going. It's already the, highlighted. The 1 is highlighted, so we will add it to the clock. Yep. And then we will gain that lightning bolt, so that's yep. great. See? That or energy. Bad. So now that we did that, we don't have to worry about the clock. Yep. Um, but one of those dice has to always go to the clock. So we have a three and a four. Three and a four. Now let's check this board here. So we've got a 12 damage uh, gate. We've got a nine damage gate. A 15 
and a 20 at the bottom, and then a 17. Now, personally, I want to go the quickest route to get to the exit. Get to the exit? Okay. Yeah. So um, these these gates here are locked by a die, which we do not have. Nope. Uh, we could use a tool to unlock, but we still have to um, have that number to turn the switches on. Yep. To even get there. Yep. So I think right now we should probably work on some of the switches. Either the switches <clears throat> or the hacks. So we can turn the three on, but remember. The exit says three off. Needs to be off, so we can't use the three but so many yes, times. Yes, we can only use the three twice. Yeah. Okay, if we use it a third time, we are stuck in here and we lose the game. We stuck in much. limbo. But let's go ahead and turn the switch for three on. Okay. And you'll see what I mean, uh, what happens here. So, boom. Okay, the switch is on. Yep. I like how it does the roll and write. Um, you know, pencil markings. I want to use the last number in the hack, I think. The hack? Okay, yeah. so we'll go to the hack. And the four will... Okay, so we've got a couple of things here. I want to go for one of the, the eight damage ones, I think. The eight damage ones? Yeah. I usually go for the tools myself. Yeah. Um, so this symbol up here means you can use two energy to click a box for free. Well, not for free, but you have to spend you two energy. You have to spend the energy, yeah. I don't necessarily want to do that because I use it mostly for movement, but yeah. we may have to. Um, but, all right, so this box. Okay, well, what symbols do we currently need right now? Uh, the box is right down here. That's the closest one to us, but it's also the least damaging. Yeah. But it's still worth it. And then there's a 12, which is a bit harder to get. Yeah. So we've got the fours for that. We don't have enough for the um we don't have a four for that. Yeah, no. for that one. So what do you think? Four? Yeah. Okay, so we'll go ahead. If you wanna yeah, okay. we'll do that. Alright, so that's and since we already did the clock, we don't have to yeah. do the clock. So now. that's one down. Yep. And four to go. And now we just reroll. Alright, we're gonna reroll our three hacking die. Oh right, another one. <laughs> Ah, love it. Oh, we can okay. technically go down, correct? Yes, we can. Um, since uh, switch five is off. Yep, we can move down. Yep, we can move down. We have to use a five to unlock this. Yep. Okay, so we can do that right now. So we'll go ahead and unlock it. And then we want to move. We want to move. So. Do we want to move now, or do we want to wait until we unlock more stuff? Yeah, maybe we want to wait until we unlock more. Yeah. Because we just definitely want to use that one and the clock. Yes. I don't want to use a five and a clock uh, already. So, do we want to use a five in any of the roll bonuses to get more uh, I, um, resources, or are we good? Just I mean, focused on the hack? What's in the hack right now that we can use the five for? Um, um damage. A couple of stuff we can that symbol, that little star symbol is in that right row. Here? Yeah. A little burst. Put, put it in that right yeah, here? that one. That way we can work on the okay. damage and that one at the same There's time. There's also this one. Yeah. Well, this one's closer to us, the little That one is. Okay, we'll then do thing. it there. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay. And then it tells you, hey, yeah, you gotta use your last die yep. for the clock. So, we have so the wrench up. is down here, wrench looking tool. Yep. Um, and it's 15 damage. Yeah, that's a lot. So that's that's big. So we have to use this one on the clock. Um, if you try to do it anywhere else, it will tell you no. Yep. So here, let's let's try it out. System error. Okay, good. Fine. You win clock. And then we go. Alright, let's go. Give me a one. Ah, Man, like so I was lucky. rolling like fives and sixes the entire I'm so time. So lucky. Okay. Um. So we have that. We need a six to unlock this gate. Unless we we're just gonna there. go down. Um. One needs to be off. We already have that because it's by default off. Yeah. But what I'm saying, if we're going down, we could go down and over. We don't have yes. to necessarily go through the so, six. So if we're really going to go for this one right here, we might as well 
do some hacking. Right? So what do yeah. we need for that one? Uh, for this that one... square looking thing, that one. We need a four, six, and we three. We got a four. We have a four, so might as well do that, right? Yeah. Cool. Right, so so we've got two now. more to work on. Um, so a two. Do so we... let's try to take a path here. So these green uh, triangles here are resources. So those are pretty good to get if you can. Well, what I'm thinking is I want to go down and then over. Down, and over then... and then down again? No, like over twice because then we can oh, get the resources one? along the way. Okay, so we, we're going to need two and three on for this one. Yeah, which we have a two. Which we do have a two. No, well, yeah, we do have a two. We can do that. Yeah. Uh, let's make sure none of the other ones require two to be off, though. Um, so far, I don't see... There's not a, a whole bunch of offs. Like I said, I want to go do, do, and then all the way down. Okay, so six needs to be off for this one. Um, three needs yeah, to be see, off. Yeah, that's see, the, that's the hard part is like, I'm like, this is the path I want, yeah. but we have to do at least 50 damage. And look at this. Four needs to be off for this one, and then four needs to be on to get there. So it's a balance. Well, exactly. that's why I wasn't saying go down there. I said go down one okay, yeah. and then over I'm fine and then that. down. But let's go ahead and turn um, two on. So we'll use the two to turn it on. And now we have to use the one for the clock. Fine. Take my money. We haven't moved at all. Oh boy! Oh, that's, oh that's no good. It's horrible. Uh, go to the hack. Um, no wait. If we use the three, we'll get some resources. Yeah. Go to the hack. All right, we're gonna go to the hack. We need the six for that. Six. Yeah. For that column. So we'll go ahead and do this. Yeah. Um, how about this? Do I use the multi tool to make that four three, so that way we have another three? Yeah, we can do that. All right, so here's how you do it. You click on the die you want. You use the multi-tool, and the little things will come up, and you just click down. There we go. All right, let me put that there. All right, so that is unlocked, and it will tell you that by highlighted blue. Yep. All right. Now we've got to use the clock. Before we do that, we can do some damage. So I'll go ahead and use this. Alright, so that gives us three movement for using the lightning, the energy. Mm -hmm. So we can move down, mm -hmm. and then we can move over. Boom! Nine damage. Now we can go over again? Um, yes, we can. To get that symbol. There you go. Now we have to clock. Now we have to hit the clock. Three... All right, so we get another multi-tool. Awesome. Uh, so hopefully we can beat this and show you the video to end the chapter. If not, <laughs> sorry. Oh no, why? All right, let's look. Um, I want to keep the two at least or make it a one. Or maybe a three. A three's not bad. We're not going to hit anything. No, a three's not good. What? Three's not good. I would rather use the multi-tool to you make it a one. Um, the three of one or the two of one? The two of one. Okay. All right. So, um, okay, roll bonuses. I mean, we could throw the six in for two damage and just get rid of the six completely. Yeah, but do but we then need the hacky hacks? Do we need this here? Let's see. What, what does the six do need? Um. Okay, so next symbol is the um, star thingy. Yeah. Oh, we do need the, the six for the star thingy. We do, yes. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, see the problem with that is that it also needs a one. And ones are what? real. Which one are you looking for? Yeah. This one right here. Yeah, I mean, we still need the symbol. Yeah, we do. Regardless. Um. Yeah. Or do you want to do this here? Or here? I mean, which one do we need more? Like, currently, we are closer to We're closer that to one. here, which would be good to have. Yeah. But we need to also turn four on. 
which we could possibly do because it would be good to have four and five on right now we'll get a credit mm -hmm. um hmm okay we'll go to the hack i'll go ahead and do this one yeah All right, do we want to do anything with a three, maybe? It doesn't help us in that row that we need. No, I wish it did, though. Um, it does help us as far as doing eight extra damage, maybe? Or we can use the three. Up two damage? Oh, I already that, too. You want to get two more uh, multi-tools? It'll bring us to four multi-tools. Why don't we just do two damage? Two damage? Yeah. Okay. Because we have two multi tools right now. Yeah. Alright, so we want to make this two a one, right? Yeah. Uh, so when you click on it, it will highlight the gates that will allow you to. And you don't need any prerequisites to open these gates that are locked by a die. You just use the die to unlock it. Um, you still need to... So why are we turning to a one again? Oh, because the, it's going on the yeah, clock. Yeah, it's going to the clock. Okay. Um, we will use this though. Let's go ahead and make it a one. Sweet. Add it to the clock. Um, it, it a one gives us a lot more time. Hopefully, we get a one, and we did. All right, focus. Focus. We need four on. Uh, we do. We need, we need four and five. Why? For this one. Oh, for it's that one. We need four and. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. At least we can use four now, though, just to go ahead. Just open it? Yeah. Okay, just, uh, okay, so I'm just making sure that none of these off ones require a four. We may need to go through. This one does, but that's. Yeah, but if we're going this way, yeah, this one needs four or five. Okay. This one needs four on, so Let's we're go fine. Ahead and turn switch four on. Let's go to the hack. Yeah, um, we need we need the one in that one row. Oh, we do. Maybe we can use the one and then do you know do a two. Yeah, I think it's fine. I want to put the one there because, like you said, you typically want to use it for the oh, clock, man. but like we really need it. Yeah. 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 It's okay. We'll we'll go ahead and do it. Um, I could use a multi tool to make it a one. It'll give us more time, but we do waste the tool. Yeah, that we can use for something else if like a six pops out or something. Yeah. Um. All right. So we can save it. Let's just go to the clock. Two. Let's go ahead and add two. Okay, now we need a one for that energy if, yeah. to get it. Or a three. Uh, or a three. Let's re-roll. No high numbers. Ah, four, two, and one. Okay, we just did the four. We need a five. Yeah. We can make it a five. That's true. You want to do that? Yeah. Four. Make it a five. And then we can use it on the switch, turn five on. Yep, so now we're good for okay. that. Yeah, so, so now, now we can move over and get that resource. We can move over, but what do we want to use? Uh, we have one lightning bolt left. Um, it's up there, yeah. The two won't help us. We need actual, we need actually a five. Yeah. <laughs> we need two fives to do this one. Ooh, that's what we need a credit for. Um, a roll bonus will not get us credits unless we use the one. Two will give us multi tools. Or two damage. Or two damage. Or two lightning bolts. Yeah. Um. Well, actually, that'll give us a credit mm -hmm. if we use that, and then we'll have it for a five if we need it. Yeah. That's so true. just use the two for a movement. Yeah. Let's just do that. Click it. Put it. Okay, so right. we'll move over. And, and we've got ourselves a credit. Um, we can technically move down. We, yeah, we can move down, but 
it won't do anything until we actually get the tool. So we can stay on it. But when we get the tool, we'll be able to use it while we're on it. That's, yeah. So let's go ahead and move down. Might as well use the movement while you have it. I think you have to use all the movement, don't you? No. No? no. Oh, okay. I didn't you know that move, part. You can move up, up to. Yeah. I didn't know that part. I thought you had to. All right. It's clock time. We got the one. Let's mm -hmm. go ahead and throw that on there. Get another lightning bolt energy. And we'll re-roll. Future fact. <laughs> Sister, you go. Well, I know what we're doing. Um, now, do we want the three? Three would be bad, but not so bad. Because the fives will get us the tool to do 15 damage. Exactly, which is what I want. Okay, so that's fine. We'll use the five for at least. Use the fives. Um, oh, oh, what's the double stick one? I could have used the credit to use one five twice. Oh, there's no back button. There is no back button. It's, it's okay. I can still do it. Yeah. Well, just I mean, to show them how to do it. Fives? What do we need another five for? Um, I mean, there are other fives, I guess. There are other fives. There's a, um, actually not here. Let's, oh, I can just click on it. Um, well, make sure you're going to click the thing first if you're going to double it. No. So the fives won't help here. Um, the five will give us two multi tools. Yeah. Do we want to use it or save it? Oh, let's go ahead and use it. Use it? Yeah. Hi, honey. Pumps. Okay. So we're going to use the credit, and it's going to ask us which die to use it on. We'll use it on this one. So now so it says we have two. Now we have two of the five. So for this, we can go ahead and do that. And then go to the hack. Go to the hack. Use, use the, the five hack. to do that. Yeah. And, well, you saw it there. <laughs> we use it. So 26 out of 50. Not bad. No. Not bad. Now we got to do this three. Yeah. Uh, we could use our multi-tool to make it less. If we put it to a two, if we make it two, if we'll we get another. If we make it a two, we get, oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not so bad. No. We'll, we'll get one. We'll get it back. We'll use, yeah, we'll use it and get it back. Wait. All right, we're not doing so bad. It's just the damage that we need to work on. Oh, two, two and two, two and three. Okay, so let's see the clock here. Um, we're two's I mean, aren't bad. We're nearly halfway. Two's aren't bad. Though. Two's not bad at all. We'll get a credit for it, so that's good. What's in our hack system? Um, we need a two. Two for uh. If we're going for that symbol now, well, where it was that symbol? That's oh, right that down here. Though. Okay. So, uh, mm. one and three need to be on for that one. Uh, one is not on. No. Three is on. Three is on. So, if we could. Uh, man. But then we need six off if we go that way. Six is already off. By default, oh, six right, is yeah. Um, I mean, I'm thinking if we go one over and one down, and then one over, we can still get to that that one symbol that looks like scissors. Yeah. Um. I however, I'll need to use the two to open this gate. Yeah. I I can't go through it. Yeah. He's breathing on my foot. So should I use the two? Yeah. All right. So we'll set it up for later. Yep. So that gate is open. Uh, we'll save the two for the clock. So you use it right now. Yep. Uh, we'll go ahead and use that. And we'll get that. And now we have the three to work with. We do have the three. So what do we need? Uh, One we and three. Three is already on. Three is on. One is not. Yeah, so we need one. Problem. Um. So we don't have to worry about the clock because we already put a dice. Um. This one is locked by a five. So we want to get here, but I don't want to use it as energy to move over there because we're gonna just waste it. 
<clears throat> I mean, it's something that you're not going to have to move later, though. Right, but if I use the um, energy or the three, I'll only be able to move one time, and that'll waste. Oh, right, yeah. That'll waste movement, which is bad in this one. You don't want to do that. Mm. So, either the roll bonus, uh, we can't use the three, we already used the three for that. Or we can do the hacking. Where's the three again? I mean, we're pretty good on that um, that second row of eight damage. This one down here. Yeah, because we only need a four, one, and a two. Okay, well that'll that'll help and with that'll that. And that'll help with that if we need that symbol. Okay, do this, this yeah. one. All right. Alrighty. Oh. Uh, okay, none of them the numbers we're looking for. One, two, three will get us another uh, energy. But it's gonna put us past half the halfway point. Um, yeah, we don't have a one to do this. Um, hold on, let's see. What do we need? Uh, three. Uh, can I use a six for anything? Um, well, I mean, six could go for here. Or here. Or even this. This We kind of need this one. I have a question really fast. Yes. It's nothing to do with the stream, but is this a fake message, or is this the one that we were talking about yes, or earlier that it didn't get delivered? Um, do I need to check the tracking number? That, I think that's a fake tracking number. Okay. Someone's trying to hack us while we hack the no, system. No, no, look at this shit. <laughs> what? I just want to make sure it's not the same package. Yeah. All right, I'm using the six for the plier tool. You can't, oh, or we can use the six for another credit. Sure. That might help us later. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because that'll help us get some more ones. We're gonna, yeah, let's do that. All right, we've got two credits. Yeah, I think that's a heck too. Um, the three we're going to use for the clock, right? Yes. Okay, might as well use that now. Unless you want to make it a one. No. No? Uh, we're, uh, we're, oh, we're one over half damage. We need to do more damage, so getting these tools is probably what we need to focus on. We're working on it. I know. I got a feeling, though, I should... Man. That's halfway. Okay, let's do it. Um, this four will go towards what? Yeah. Do we need a four for switches? No. Four switches on. Okay. Um, so we can make it a five and open this up because I think we have four or five. We do. Sorry, every time he twitches now I get nervous. <laughs> can um, make this a five and open up this gate. That's true. Just in case. But yeah. it's, well, we already have this gate open. Well, I mean, you know, if we go like... To the left and then down and to the left and do that and then we can go back and then this is already open then we still have our shot to go that yeah. way yeah, i guess safety net <laughs> or wait you said you want to do it a five yeah make it a five yeah because even this. this star symbol with the 17 damage thing that needs one and five so we do no, need that's, what that, that, that's different no We're talking about switches here five is already on I'm talking about opening these locked oh. gates. Oh. Oh. Well, no, because we won't need no. that one. Okay. But I'm looking at, you see where the star symbol thing is? One down. That, down, that yeah. one. That one needs one and five. Oh, boy, that needs two and six on? So we have to do this before we do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy, the choices. Yeah. Oh, so many choices. So we have to do that one before that, okay. How about we just use four to do two damage? Okay, that's fine. Because I don't know if we need it on the hack, do we? I don't know, you took it away. Oh. 
Well, actually, it'll... Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's actually pretty close to that. Then we just need a two and a one. Yeah, that sounds All right, good. Yeah, let's do that instead. Oh, there's so many decisions. That's one thing I don't like about rule and rights is I want to do everything and I can't do everything. Two, four, and two. Let's look at the clock real quick. Two will not get us anything. Four will not get us anything. So we can make it a one and save our butts. Um, sailor butts? Sailor butts. How about this? I got an idea. Don't we need the one? Yes. We can make this two a one. Yeah. And then double it. And double it, yep. So we'll use a multi-tool on it, make it a one. And then double it. And then we'll double the one. Then we have two ones. Then we have two ones. So what do we need a one for? We need to turn one on. Correct. Okay, so switch one is on. And for the hack. We need that one. We do need the one. Um, right there. Right here? Yep. Boom, and then we can use the two, uh, the, the two oh, for no, the, the no. eight damage. The, the two, two for the clock, though. The, oh, the clock. We cannot. The clock. It moves. Okay, we can use these two yeah. to click that and not have to use the two. Okay, fine. Okay. Yep. So we'll do that. I want to do damage. Damage thirty four damage. Okay, we're we're good. Okay, now what we use the four on. Uh, I don't know. The force? Maybe, uh, can we use the four get more energy? energy? You okay, Leon? You keep freaking me out. Come here, Mama. A little bit. Oh, we could do two damage or two energy. Can we use the four? Four won't do anything as far as tools go. No. Alright, so. Symbols. Uh, four switches already on. Yeah. Uh, we can move here, so we can use. Actually, that's a, a not a bad deal it's to use the four here. Okay. Um, and, and then we yes. So we can use this Purple. to move over. Down. Down. Over. And then we can move over. And we can set up for that. Yep. Okay. No, the clock. The clock, boss. Let's. Do you want to make it a one? No, they were okay with a two. You think so? Yeah. Okay. If we lose, this is my, this is where we lose because of my fault. <laughs> this is why we lose. This your yeah. decisions. Yeah. Oh, geez, with the twos. So we were blessed with all the ones, and now we're getting twos and fours. Twos are not bad. Okay. Twos or twos? Twos are better than sixes. So, what do Is we need? Is a six-sided die. Oh, hey, we need twos for this tool here. Well, let's see. Two for the tool. So, do we want to double one of the twos? Yeah. So, we'll go ahead and do this. We'll double this two, and we'll use it twice. And now we need just a six, and then we'll be able to do damage to the system. Um, however, we make the four six. <laughs> we know we can't. <laughs> Why? Because we don't have enough. We don't have enough. Uh, I kind of want to use the two to make it a one. <laughs> Honestly. Oh, but this, the damage. I know. I know. Damage. And we can't use a four to get two multi tools we either. Four for the two damage. We could do two damage. I like the four. The four doesn't help with the hacking, right? Um, no. No. It no, only does with the little potato head. Alright, so let's just do two damage with the four. The four eyes. And boom, 36. <sighs> we'll make the two of one. Yeah. I have too many decisions. And then we'll add it. Okay. These no sixes. <laughs> two ones! Do we need the ones? Uh, what actually, do we, need? we do need the one. What do we need for the symbol that we are currently on? Six. And we can't make the four six. Um, can we no. make? We can use two energy to. Yes, please do that. Okay, let's do that. I, ju I just need to. Oh, no. oh, we we did it. We just need to get out now. Yeah. Okay. Do, so, do, 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 that way. All right. So to get back, 
We're good there, and four is on. Two and six need to be on for that one. So we need six to be on. It's four or six. Um, we can move. Can you make a one of six? Does it loop it back around? I don't know. I can't. I don't have any more tools. Ah, oh, send him a tool. Hold on. Hold on. Can we get a tool? Hold on. Let's do um. One no. Oh, uh, we can't use any of those for that. Nope. Make the one of two and then do it. I don't have tools. No, we I need the tools. Have them. What about now? No, we don't need to worry about the hacking. No, anymore. we don't need any more hacking because we, need... we have a path. Yeah, we need to get out now. Um, the quickest way out is that way. We right? need switch three turned off. Where? Why? Because that's the exit. Okay. Come and make the four three. <laughs> no, I don't have any I know. tools. Why can't you hack? Um. Okay. Dwarfs always have tools. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, that's use, what Jamie said. That's use the me. one for the clock. All right, the okay. clock is done. Okay. Now we just have all this. Um. Yeah. So uh, there's nothing really to do with that. Can we though. move with the four? We can, but where where do you want to move though? Nearest to the exit. Where are we go? All right, so these green boxes here are yeah. where we can go. Oh, right. That's right. Um, we can't. This five we here can't is do locked. That one. What? Why? Oh, because because of the the die <sighs> is locking the gate. Um, four needs to be on. We have that. If we had a two, we could unlock this and make our way down. Yeah. So what we can do? We just have to play with these numbers right now. Yeah. So what we can do is do use the one for a credit just in case we need it. Now we're moving four. Uh, no, what are we moving for? Or, or no, now we're clocking. Oh no, we already did the clock. Well, I already, right? I already did That's the clock. right. Sorry. Okay. Right, so this four, that four needs to not do anything, right? Um, I mean, just throw it somewhere. Throw it somewhere? Do it in the dam. In the damage spot? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Oh no. It's already, have it it's already crossed off. Um, go back to the hack thing. I know that you said you wouldn't need it there, but um, I mean, yeah, like, for maybe we could do this. Yeah, because if we get like other numbers, then all right, let's reroll. Oh, Come what on, do we need? Numbers. Give me five. Okay, we didn't Ooh, get a five. We get a five. The three will get us two multi tools. All right, we're doing that. But if we do that, what about two? Two will get us two multi. -tools, two will get us two multi, -tools. and then we can make the three of five. Yes. Yes. I just want to make things different. Yes, we can yes, do, that. do that. So we'll use the two. Yes. For the multi tool. Yeah. Because I want to make three or five. It will make the three. Do again. A five. And we'll then put that five unlock there. this. Okay. Then we can move. Oh no, we got a clock. <laughs> um, actually, we can move. So we can move, we can move using, um, I don't know, do we want to use that? Or do we want to wait? Let's just wait. Just wait. Because we'll probably get one that we we'll can We'll get another two, multi-tool. Yeah. All right, so I think we're going to make it. I think we're good. Until we roll a six. We need a two. We got a two. <laughs> we roll a six. <laughs> Hold on, we got the two. Let's like go ahead two. and do that. Now we move. The one we'll put right on the clock. Put on the clock tower. Um, and then we will. Okay, three needs to be off, so that's what we need now. It is off. No, it's on. <laughs> no. It's, we need one more three. Well, I see the green light, so I think we can go through it. I am gonna move. One, two, three. three. Okay. Uh, we already. Let's go to the um, six. six. Will give us two multi tools. So let's do that. Yeah. Um, we'll do that, and then we'll re-roll. We we're almost out. Okay, we got this. We move. Yeah. So. Bye bye. Hold on. Hold on. No, I want to move now. We'll make this a three. No. Because we have to. Oh, because we have to turn the switch. Sorry! 
Yeah. Now it is off. Now we can move the one. Um, <laughs> yes, now we can use the one to move. <laughs> bye. Yeah, so let's go ahead and use that here. Bye bye. Move yeah. down. And then we win. And the four on the clock. <laughs> well, we have to wind the clock down. Yeah. Uh, we can still do extra damage. We'll get a better score. So let's do all the damage all we right. can do. Go to the hack. <clears throat> we can use the five and the three. Yeah. Uh, let's double the five. Yes. Do five. We'll go one, two. And then do the three there as well. Three. Yep. Yeah. Go to the clock. You get another multi tool. Think we're gonna make it? Two two sixes and a one. Oh, hack. Oh, we needed the two. <laughs> we do need the two. Uh, we can use the six there. Let's do that real quick. Let me and see then the six and the damage. Oh. What are you doing? We'll do this. Oh, yes. Do that. All right, six. And then the six and the other more damage. Oh, in the uh, roll yeah. bonus? Yeah. Yes, we'll use the six to do damage. And, and then the we'll one. use the one for the clock. We're just we're just tapping away at this thing. Two, three, and five. So what do you say we end it? End it with the five? Or end it with the three? The five? I don't know what the other options are. There's not many options. Okay. Let's see. Did we succeed? Ned destroyed. We destroyed Ned Flanders. I mean, Ned. There you go. We win. Yeah. Sweet. Wait, so now... damage, three, clock damage, four, four yeah. damage. So it's broken down by... Um, and it's, it's easier to see on the actual sheet... Um, it's broken down by these Hello, sections please. that you're, you know, crossing off and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let me see. I forgot what uh, what button goes where. I don't want to. Right, escape. Let's just, let's just escape. All right. So we did it. Hi. We defeated the Ned with our little bug. Um, and then we get to watch the little um, video. Of how we succeeded. How we succeeded. I have not watched this because I didn't want to ruin it. That seemed like a lot of different little things that hurt my brain. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so I'm going to say this. It's not an impressive win because I had it on easy mode. Yes, there are multiple Whoa! modes. Yes, there's easy, medium, and hard. Even when I was on easy mode, I didn't win. No, but it's still a thinker, though. Yeah. Right? It's a really neat game, and you do have those combo um, moments where you're like, oh, I can do this, then this, then that, and we've done that how many times? So many times, and that's the one of the things that I really like about some of these roll and rights where you can combo one thing into another into another. I do I want, love doing that. I do want the physical copy. Yeah, so because that's gonna be cool. So this is gonna go live on Kickstarter uh, July eleventh. Yes, we're doing it a bit early, but we wanted um, to let you guys know early because it's a it's a really good game, and you um I think it's uh, I don't know what it is converted to U.S. dollars, but I think yeah. it's thirty five dollar uh, thirty five pounds. They are in the U.K. So yeah, so I don't know what that e equals out to uh, U.S. dollars, but you're gonna Use get Google. You're gonna get the um. The physical game. Physical dice, the comic dice, books. The comic books, which is the storybooks for it. Yep. Um, you're going to get the digital app, which you just saw, but it's going to be better. It's going to be different. It's going to be finished. Yeah. And I believe that's going to have all of the um, the comics that you saw in the video. Yep. Um, hey, Google. <laughs> So we don't have that. So that's a lot of stuff. And if you don't want all that stuff, you can get the print and play version for I believe four dollars. Yeah, it's it's super cheap. Yeah. Um or I think you can just get the app. I don't know. It's the um 
Kickstarter is still in the um, what is it? Uh, I'm lost. I lost words. The, the pre pre Kickstarter. Pre Kickstarter. <laughs> I don't know what that <laughs> word is. My brain don't work. Uh, but but yeah, if you want to head on over there and um, click on the button to get notified when it does launch, I think it's gonna be a really good game if you like those combo horrific um, uh, rolling rights. Preview mode, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that word one. And um and the story is gonna change the maps. So each story has a different map to it. So you're gonna be doing different things. It's not gonna be always the same thing. We did have option to do the print and play, but I wanted to do the digital app, even though it's still under construction and all that stuff. Yeah. I mean it worked really really well. There's a few things here and there, but like they said, it's just still a work in process. So And they did tell us it is it does run better on Mac than PC, but I yeah. mean we're right on a PC and we didn't have Brain is broken from all that thinking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come oh, on. Then look, Jamie, shinies. Yes, you posted a bunch of stuff. I'm going to post some more stuff about that. Um, but, but, yeah, really good game. I I like the futuristic man versus machine Yeah, I, uh, I love the theme of it. And I like that it's a yeah. campaign. Yeah, really? and it's, it's not... It's not that cyberpunk type theme, but it's more of that. Um, but it makes me think of that it. Terminator movie theme, you know, where it's like, actually, no, no, it's not. It's a corporation. You're we're hacking a corporation. It reminds me of uh, Repo Man. Repo Man. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hacking the system to get me some new organs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's about not that. the story. <laughs> but it's a, it's a story about revenge. You know, you get laid off. You're you're one of the best people in the company. You get laid off because of a machine. Ah, when hacking. And yeah, you join this group of hackers, as you saw in the video, and and that's where you are. I mean, I felt like a hacker <laughs> playing that game. Repo Man, the board game. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sell my organs. All broke. So so I I did enjoy it. I liked it a lot. And you know me, if if it's a roll and write. Um, I don't do well with luck-based games, yeah. especially rolling dice. But I really enjoyed this because you have an because option. Because you can blame the computer if it rolls terribly. No. Because you have options. You you can do different things that will set you up for later. Mm. Um, and I like that option Yeah. to do things. Um, yeah, so we're going to watch the video, and then I guess we're going to come back and... Then wrap it up, because this is up. a very short stream today. Yes. We didn't know how many times we were going to lose. Yeah, I know. But I'm good. On easy mode. I was on easy mode and I couldn't beat it. All right, guys. Hopefully this works and we'll see a video. We'll catch you in a little bit. Wrong thing. That's not the right one. So we just watch him? Yep. If they do all the work though, why are we here? It's best not to ask that question too loudly, son. I came out of my comms link with a huge beam on my face. I knew I had done something powerful for our cause today. <sighs> that was amazing! Somewhere in an off-earth factory, a Ned would be seriously malfunctioning. It would be fixed, of course, but not for a while. In that time, it was useless, and humans would need to be employed instead. Yeah, you did okay. We'll have to see how you do against one of the newer models. Don't tell anyone, okay? I didn't tell anyone, but I couldn't think of anything else. I had to stop myself from searching for news of the damaged Neds on the comms. Search activities were routinely tracked for keywords, and a query like that would be a massive red flag.
but it felt good to be doing something. I wasn't useless anymore. I was a Luddite. <laughs>